What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve commission problems, right? So basically a commission is just the same thing as a bonus, okay? So whenever you sell something at your job, you know, you get paid, but you also get a bonus. And the formula for calculating commission is commission is equal to the commission rate times the total sale, okay? And the units for these, well, for commission, it would normally be in dollars, okay? So that's gonna be equal to the commission rate, which would be a percentage. And then we would multiply that by the total sale, which would again be in dollars, okay? So let's jump into this first example so you can see how we solve these problems. So this first problem says a real estate agent gets a 3% commission when they sell a home. They sell a haunted mansion for $260,000. So what is the agent's commission? Well, our formula up here says that the commission, and I'll just abbreviate that as C, is equal to the commission rate. So what is the commission rate here? Uh, well, it says 3%, right? Gets a 3% commission. So I'm going to put 3%. And then we're going to multiply that by the total sale, right? What was the total sale? It was 260000 right? So times $260,000. All right. How am I going to solve this? Well, the first thing you have to do is turn this percent into a decimal, okay? You can never have a percent in one of your formulas. You always have to convert it to a decimal first. Okay, so your commission is going to be equal to, now let's write 3% as a decimal. How would you do that? Well, I'll do it up here. An easy way of doing it is just drop your percent symbol. Okay, so what number do we have here? We have the number 3, right? Okay, where's the decimal on the number 3? It would be right there, right? So all you have to do is grab your decimal and move it two times to the left. So we're going to go 1, 2. Okay, so that's where your decimal is now. And as you can see, we have an empty place value right here. So whenever you have an empty place value like that, in order to fill in the blank, you just put a zero right there, okay? So 3% as a decimal would be 0 0.03, okay? So I'll write that right here, 0 0.03, okay? And the more proper way of writing this decimal would just be putting a zero right there as a placeholder, right? So 0 0.03. And then we're going to multiply that by 260,000. 260,000. Okay, so now you just have to throw this into your calculator. 0 0.03 times 260,000 is equal to 7,800. So your commission is equal to 7,800. 7,800 what? Well, remember the units for commission are dollars, right? So we'll put a dollar sign right there. So the commission is equal to $7,800, right? Hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's try one more example here. Okay, so this problem says a toilet salesman sells a fancy toilet that plays music and tells you funny puns about Winnie the Pooh. Nice. He gets a $69 commission for selling a $460 toilet. What was his commission rate? Okay, so this time we're not looking for the commission. We're looking for the commission rate, All right? So how would we solve for that? Well, let's just use our formula up here and just plug in what we know, okay? So we know he got a $69 commission, right? So his commission was $69. So I'll put that right here. And that's going to be equal to, right, equal to his commission rate. So that's the part we don't know. So I'll just put a variable there for now. I'll put R for rate. And then we're going to multiply that by the total sale, right? So we're going to multiply by however much he sold it for. So selling a $460 toilet. So he sold it for $460. Okay. So here we have $69 is equal to R times $460. So how do we solve for R right here? Well, we want to isolate this variable by itself on one side of this equal sign right here. Okay, so in order to do that, or in order to undo the multiplication, we're going to divide. Okay, divide by what? Well, whatever you're trying to get rid of. So if we want to get rid of the 460, we're going to divide by 460. Okay, but whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other, right? So we have to divide by 460 on this side also. 
Okay, so now simplifying some things. These 460s, so there's one on top, one on the bottom, so those cancel out. So we're just going to be left with r right here on this side of the equation. Okay, and then that's going to be equal to, right, equal to 69 over 460. 69 over 460. Okay, so now you just have to throw this into your calculator. So 69 divided by 460 is equal to 0 0.15. And remember that's equal to r, right? It's equal to r. So is this our answer right here, 0.15? Well, almost, but remember, the units for commission rate is a percentage, okay? So how do you turn this decimal into a percent? Well, a quick way of doing that is just grabbing your decimal and moving it two times to the right, okay? So you'd go one, two, so right there, okay? So instead of having 0.15, you would now have 15, okay? 15 percent, so that's equal to R. Okay, so what was his commission rate? 15 percent. Okay, so that'd be your answer. All right, guys, so that is how you solve commission rate problems. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful, so definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.